Hello, this is Kato Chan Place, and welcome to a new series on my channel. That's right, this is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Uh, it came out about a week ago, and now I'll be actually starting a new series on my channel on this game. I'm I'm looking forward to the adventure mode and just seeing how it plays. Um, but yeah, this this is replacing Splatoon 2 and that story mode. So I don't know. Let's get into this game already. I played. A little bit of it just to get used to the controls so I have done that but regardless this game it looks and it feels really fun to play so without further ado let's get right into adventure mode and see what the story of this game has to offer us okay uh, let's go for this slot here uh, play with any item you've unlocked switch and customize your character and car as you see fit uh, yeah I think we'll go nitro field mode and let's go for medium uh, hard's too hard, easy's too easy. So medium is what we are going for. Okay. Let's see, what do we want to start off with? Let's go for... Uh, I think let's go for Crash. And Oh yeah. Um, since I did pre-order this game, I have got the Electron skin. So right here we have Electron Crash. It is nice kind of space age outfit. So I guess we're going to be going for him. And are there any... Um, do we have any like... I uh, know, electron carts? No, we only have the one for now, but let's get straight onto it. Crash, you are looking fine, my man. And let's just see how this goes and head into story mode. Three, two, one, go. Okay, boost up that turbo, yeah. This is just explaining how to do um, boost when you go around corners. I mean, to start off with, I didn't understand it, but as you go along, you understand, you you'll get the hang of the controls. And it is really a blast to play, so let's see what this story mode is all about. Come on. Loading, loading, and there we go. Oh no. Okay, so it's a pretty simple premise. We race to save the world from becoming a giant concrete parking lot. Welcome to the adventure area. Nice. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent war pads which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a race track, Drive into a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track's starting line. Finish the track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will unlock. Good luck, and drive fast. Okay, nice. So we just have to basically play these levels and unlock trophies. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Just drive around a little. Um, yeah. 
So, all we have to do now is um, just drive into one of these levels to begin, but let's just have a little check around this area first. This looks pretty cool, we've got some new, got some amazing doors, there's another level which I don't think is ready yet. Uh, what do we have round here? It's just, okay, there's another door. I wonder where these lead to. Ah. You must have two boss keys to open this door. You can race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat the boss in a boss race, and the key is your prize. Okay, so that's like um, the, the boss after a couple goes. Okay, and there's a Ripper door. To access this track, you must first collect the number of trophies required to turn on the. Okay. Basically, all you need to do is um, let's get let's head over to one of those um, blue flashing dots on the map. Yeah. Here's one of them, right here, we can drift into it, it is Roo's Tubes. Huh, like Ripper Roo maybe? I think so, okay. Offense or defense, you can shoot your power shield full by pressing circle, okay. So, this is our first level, we can head into uh, the other blue flashing dot immediately afterwards, but let's see what this one is all about, Roo's Tubes. All we need to focus on is getting in first place, so... Let's just see how this goes. I'm, I haven't played the adventure mode at all, so I'm just intrigued as to how this will actually work. Okay. Trophy race, bruise tubes, insanity beach area. Okay. Just getting a nice overview of the track. And now we can head in with a multitude of characters. Okay. Three, two, one. Boost. There we go. Okay. So we got our nice boost. Uh, I think, yeah. We can jump out before we go over ramps to get a nice speed boost and when we land, yep, just like that. Oh, we just got hit by a missile, oh no, that isn't good. But yeah, this is the game effectively guys, it's like, if Mario Kart was super, if Mario Kart was crazier somehow, and you could drift, and it's basically, I don't know, this is just an insane kart racing game, and I love it. I don't know if it's the characters or just the aesthetics in general, but everything looks so good about this game. And we're back in second place. That isn't where we want to be though, we want to get into first. So, let's go here, actually grab ourselves a power up, see if we can use it on this guy. No, nope. it was um, some sort of poison bottle, okay, let's just keep grabbing these boosts and, okay, we're not doing the best here, we're just going to get a boost down here, okay, and we need to collect some Wumper Fruit with there kind of hard to collect on this track, you have to go out of your way a little, um, let's get a power up here, and come on, we need to take this guy out so we can be in first, and actually, okay, we got, effectively, uh, an invincibility power up, with the help of Aku Aku, our friendly masked friend, now we can head over the hill here, come on, give me a power up, there we go, that power up there was able to stop the missile in its tracks, and now, we can keep on boosting here, Let's take behind us, uh, no one for a while, so we're kind of safe for now, let's keep boosting anyway, right, boost, 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 and we get an extra boost after we do three successful ones in a row, and here's the end, we're, we're nearing the end of the race here guys, right, boost, 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 and across the line in first place, yes, as it says, the trophy says there, we are off to a good start. We've got some Wumper Fruit as well, Wumper Coins, and we can continue back to the hub world to see that we have earned ourselves a nice trophy. Hopefully. Come on. I think the only thing that could be improved in this game at all is the loading screens. They do take a while and although they do give nice hints, maybe it's nice to see like a little animation play. I don't know, but that'll probably require more loading time. Anyway, we're going to get our trophy in one second. Come on. And there we go. Trophy earned. And <laughs> Crash Agnoga the Flash there celebrating his victory over Pura and Dr. Neo Cortex. Or Ninja Cortex. Nice one. Congratulations. You win a trophy. Nice. So you can go faster through turns by power sliding. Yep. Press the power slide. We already know all about that. Okay. We've got a new set of wheels. Okay. Cool. Congratulations. And 
You have just earned your first customization. Okay, so we can go to the pause menu when we want to customize what we're doing. So let's um hit pause and oh yeah, customization. So we can just go in here and we can change everything up. So how about this? Let's change out our wheels for those new ones we just unlocked. Team Bandicoot and uh, let's change character. Let's go for let's go for Cortex because we can. We can play as a sort of villain in this game, so. Nice, let's see. Uh, next, let's head into this level right here. Crash Cove. See what this one is all about. Probably something to do with Crash Bandicoot himself. And I think I saw it in the uh, pause screen. This is meant to be the first level we were going to go into on the hub world. So, hope like it's going to be an easy level if it is the, uh, the first level. So, let's see what it has to offer us. Hopefully, some more fun power sliding and just gameplay in general this game I mean I like I like the power sliding especially like you can boost several times and if you do it really good you get an additional one at the end but the power ups now the graphics as well it's just such a good game but let's let's keep going and see how things turn out so three two one go there we go we didn't get the boost that time as I think you might have been able to um, but anyway, we are Cortex, we are in second place, and, okay, oh, we've got some nice one fruit off the top of that ramp there, and I'll hear some more right under the bridge, there we go, we're already up to 10, and even though we haven't collected a power-up, I'd say we're doing pretty good, so, you can see some nice statues of Crash in the background there, and uh, we can also see this shipwreck here, which we can go over as well, I wish I could have got all full boost up there, but never mind. We can take these boost pads um, over the finish line and onto the second lap and see what it has to offer us. Come on. Let's, let's see our power up. We can use to take out engine here. Okay. Oh, no. In fact, he took us out. That wasn't that wasn't too good at all. So let's see if we can grab ourselves some more one fruit here after we lost ours. Uh, there we go. And come on. Give us a missile. No. All we want is something to fire an engine. Fire him an engine, and then we can win, okay. Uh, that isn't gonna hit him. Oh, it did! That was some. Um, yes! Say that, Cortex, because that is what we want to happen. The trophy will be ours if we beat this race. And oh, no, 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 no. Missile inbound, missile inbound. No, no, don't explode. Oh! That was some. Um, that was epic. We, we managed to fire off our nitro box. Our nitro crate literally just before the missile hit us. That is some skill right there. So who's behind us now? I can't see anyone in particular. Uh, let's try and shift up the view. Anyone in range? Oh, there are Mars behind us. Uh, let's send a bomb back in their direction anyway. And basically gloat in our victory. Okay. We had to avoid that there, but let's see. Final speed boost and jump over the line. Yes, you are, Cortex. Yes, you are. And we've got a new skin for him, Green Cortex. That's cool. Got some more Wumper coins. And we can continue back to the hub world. Ah, oh, this is definitely a great game to play. Um, I think I'll do probably one more, one more race in this episode. And then we can do a lot more in the next one, because this is just pure fun to play. Pure crash fun. Okay. Ah. Okay, so that's basically saying one of the tactics we did then. Um, shooting a bomb backwards just by holding the uh, left stick backwards while we press the fire button with the power up. And there we go. We have the trophy and we can zoom, zoom, zoom up and back down again. Defeating Engine and Dingo Dial. So there we go. Congratulations! You win a trophy! Who on earth voices that? To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then ah. press the power slide button. Okay, so usually that was... Okay, got a new sticker. That's very nice. Okay, so when we go to crash, we got the, um, the Aku Aku mask. But since we're Cortex now, we got the Uka Uka mask. Oh, that's cool. So, I guess it's just, depending on what character you play, uh, just shows you... Uh, the different masks you can get so anyway now we have this level right here which we saw before uh, let's see what is it called this is 
Mystery Caves. Okay. I'm not sure how this one is going to go, but let's drive in slowly and now we can see how this one is going to go. Hopefully we get ourselves the final trophy of today's episode and call it a hat trick. Three wins in a row. And yeah, to deny a tracking missile, drop a beaker or a TNT crate just as the missile is about to hit you. And yeah, if you have the Wumpa Fruit, it makes it a Nitro Crate or one of the Red Beakers. So that is a great tactic. We used, I think, several times in that race. So good going for us. But anyway, here into Mystery Caves, we've got some Fireballs, some Pterodactyls, some Turtles, and all sorts of, uh, some Triceratops even, so let's head into this race. I'm back as Cortex. I probably should have changed my character, but yeah. Anyway, we've got our boost, and I think, maybe from now on, I think what I'll do is I'll aim to change my character for every race, and... Try not to go to the same one twice, and oh no, we failed our, um, our drift there, that could have cost us the race. That could have cost us dearly. Anyway, let's um, bounce on this turtle dude here. Oh, we didn't get any items there, unfortunately. Uh, we shot our shield forward, but that didn't didn't exactly do much. Okay, let's get our invincibility Aku Aku mask on. Okay, or rather, Uka Uka, and there we go, okay. Oh, I think we managed to take out both of those um, drivers, so that's good. We can now go just like this, get a double bounce on the turtles, <laughs> drop the TNT crate, and I'll oh, just miss the item box there, but okay. Okay, that's not exactly how we wanted to land on the turtle, but we did get a couple boosts coming out of the landing, so that is all very nice and good. I uh, didn't jump on the right turtle, but we still didn't land in the river nonetheless. Anyway power boosting through that corner and dropping a beak behind us that is very nice fun there we go we hit the we did hit the turtle although it did seem like a little bit of a delayed delayed reaction i'm not gonna argue though we are still in first place and at the moment it doesn't look like anyone's gonna be claiming that spot from us so let's make our way through here come on oh we got a boost as well let's use that here epic there we go and we went straight over, we went straight over the item boxes, which definitely isn't something we want to see. But okay, you can feel the Triceratops moving. That isn't too good. Uh, let's drop a Nitro box there to try and distract some of the races further behind. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got our boost right there. We landed that. And was that a pterodactyl or a sheep that just landed in the water? I have no clue. But anyway, we're past them. We can drop another Nitro box see that no one is behind us for miles so that is all very nice we can grab ourselves some more items let's see if we can get oh this time i think let's we'll try and see how far we can win by so let we can see the times come up at the end of the race but for now more items is better so here we go final boost pad and then we get onto this section we get a nice jump here and come on we get this turtle timing right there we go oh no that that didn't happen well at all. But who cares? We have a boost we can go for. Okay. And come on, finish line. Come up soon. There we go, finish line. Let's hop across. And we have won. Three races in a row. All quite simply. And let's see. How far was Tiny Tiger behind us? Okay, a full eight seconds or so. That is quite some time. But guys, there we go. That is it. We have completed three levels today. Gained ourselves three trophies and we can start doing more levels in the next episode but i think i'm gonna call it there for now guys let's just see us win our trophies first and head back to the hub world and yeah we can call it there for today guys so let's see cortex with his amazing jumping celebration just literally boosting into the air and rocketing back down yeah here we go trophy collected and jump up initiated there we go so that's all very well and good and now we can leave tiny and crash in spare there we go akaka pins and uka crate on your head start hopping immediately if you okay so anyway guys after we get the paint job so anyway guys 
that has been it for this episode. If you have enjoyed them, please make sure to subscribe. And if you at all like this new series, please make sure to leave a like on it. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. So, goodbye.